work and life oriented education class and uh, today's topic is lesson uh, 43 to 53 so let's start our class that means today we will discuss about this topic so um, at first uh, just look that means today we will discuss okay uh, lesson 43 to 45 for understanding this lesson just look here is a letter uh, from where we can understand that how uh, how a, a student can do well in the uh, exam in uh, can get the success in education just look Rashid who is as old as has written a letter to his friend. Let's read this. Dear Jubair, How are you, my friend? Convey my salam to your uncle and aunt. You will be happy to know that I have stood second in the annual examination this year. You must be thinking how I have done better results than before. It is not hard at all to do good results in the examination. But yes, I have changed some of my habits. This time I was not absent in a single class. In that class I was not only present but also attentive. I always listened to the teachers attentively. After coming back home from school, I completed my everyday study and finished my homework. I did the classwork carefully and I didn't remain just silent uh, but now I am used to asking questions to the teacher, but uh, the teachers become glad at this. If the teacher asks anything, I try to answer in my own way. Now I am very self-confident. Again, at the end of the class, sometimes during the uh, class, I discuss my subjects with my friends. If I cannot solve any problem of my study, I just don't keep up. With patience, I try to solve them all the time. I practice those topics that seem complicated to me. Now, instead of reading guidebooks or other notes, I take my own notes for study. Oh, I've forgotten to tell another thing. This year, with some of my friends, I have made a project for the science fair. We hope this project will amuse all but don't think that I have given up playing football and hard to games in study sorry in the afternoon our annual sports competition is in the next month so besides study training on sports is going on in full swing stay fine my friend see you later your friend Rashid just look in this letter from this letter we get a clear idea that how we can do well in the exam there are some steps that we will discuss in the next lessons, in the next pages. But the thing is that um, he was always present in the class. He followed the class attentively. He maintained uh, the classwork properly. He always listened to his uh, teachers carefully. If the teacher asks anything to him, then he is ready to answer them with his own words okay and sometimes we also discuss uh, other problems uh, some problems uh, that he finds in the study while uh, he is studying he can discuss these things with his friends and still he is continuing his uh, playing that means extracurricular activities and he always just uh, keep passion when solving any uh, problems so these are the techniques that that Rashid follows and also we have to follow these techniques now just here is a group work for you uh, have you read the letter above now it is divided into uh, small groups three or four in each and try to ask the following questions questions what qualities made Rashid to a good result in the exam Okay, just, just these are the qualities. That means you have to think about the 
qualities and you can discuss the, uh, this question with your friends okay now go to the next lesson here is also a group work for you uh, now go to the next lesson the ways of achieving success in education and student just look all these things that means self-confidence regular attendance okay everything punctuality discipline okay then the uh, practice use of text lessons practical use of text lessons okay and the uh, participation in the exam so all these things creativity thinking about learning practice uh, self-confidence all these things uh, just make you stronger and help to to get a good result now lesson 46 to 53 the ways of achieving success in education okay uh, here we can find some pictures that will uh, that will say many things so let's see the pictures will and explain in the class what's happening in those pictures just look here the girl is crossing a bridge that's made with bamboo and uh, only just few members uh, bamboos are here and the girl is just walking for getting education the boy is walking in a um, sunny day for getting the education and the school boy just he uses umbrella for a uh, and uh, he just keeps books with him. So here, let's think. Let's think. Where are the people in the picture going? How are they going? Will they be able to successful learners? Explain to you, friends. Why do you think so? Let's go to school regularly. Our life will be problem free. So this is just one of the ways for getting a good result. And let's go to school regularly. Students, if you just uh, go through this line, then you will get the idea uh, that why you should go to school every day. If you just go to school regularly or every day, then you just uh, can make a regular uh, study. And regular study and uh, if you always go to uh, go school regularly, then just you can um, can get more knowledge uh, you can, uh, can attend all the classes properly and you can do a good result in the exam and if you don't go to school you will miss the teachers lectures classwork taking notes etc and thus lag behind others okay Besides which, we not only learn lessons at school but also many things. For example, to adjust with the classmates, to discuss with friends about lesson, to behave nicely with the teachers, to play with friends and help them if one of them falls in danger. Okay? So, just one of the ways for getting a good result is going to school regularly. Now just look at the picture the teacher is giving lectures here and the students are just hearing this attentively so from this picture in the class I listen to the teacher attentively and I note down the important things instantly it's uh, one of the ways for getting a good result that you have to you to go to uh, go through these lines and then you will get the idea that um, that you have to uh, follow your teacher's lecture or advice attentively and you have to note down the important things the important informations the important ideas that you have learned from the uh, from the class and the necessity of this is um, actually human brain is uh, like that that we cannot remember all the things sometimes we may forget something and then if we 
uh, just note it down, note down the important things in a notebook or in a diary. Then when we just say this, we can easily remember uh, these things. And we have to follow our teacher's advice properly, our teacher's lecture properly for getting a good result. And we have to build up a, a practice for, um, for note down the important things instantly because sometimes we may forget the important things but if we just go to uh, the notebook or the diary then we can remember um, all the forgotten things okay so we have to maintain it now go to the next picture just look here the, uh, this is the work schedule of Amina and this is the work schedule of Russell. So, at, uh, so from these pictures we get the idea that at due time I study and play. I pass every day rightly this way. That means this uh, girl and boy they always pass their duties properly and on due time. Okay. And that means they pass the life in a um, uh, disciplined way. Say students, if, uh, if the students want to be successful in life, then he or she must be disciplined and must be punctual and he or she must do uh, his uh, or her duties on time, properly on time. Just here, let's now see advantage of doing work timely. We will also see what problem may arise if the work is not done timely. That means the advantage of doing the work timely and the disadvantage of not doing the work in time. The first one, if you finish your study every day timely, you, it reduces the study load during the exam. That means during the exam our load becomes reduced. But if we don't do thing, this, then our uh, study, uh, our lesson just gather uh, more and more and that's really very hard for us to, to finish them before the exam. Number two, as you don't uh, study too much at a time, you get pleasure while in study and the disadvantage is you are scared while in study because you have to finish all the study at a time number three you have much time left for other work such as for playing for first time for visiting your relatives and uh, so on and if you don't finish your study on time, then just you cannot cannot uh, uh, get these types of, of facilities. Number four, as there is time left for each work, the work can be done properly. And the disadvantage is, as there is no time left for each work, the work cannot be done properly. The work is done in a hurry and does not done properly. And the last one is this makes it possible to eat, sleep, study and play at the due time. This makes us healthy too. And the disadvantage is irregularity can make our health weak. So it would be best if we make a weekly routine for our everyday life. We also get pleasure if we do our work routinely. <coughs> Now students go to the next page. Just look there are two pictures given here. Okay. And I'm always an active learner and I dream of a nice future. So for a, um, so this is another clue that we can use for getting success. Okay? Or uh, for uh, for getting a good result in the exam. Now let's listen to a story. 
the story is about active shoe so from this name from this name we can easily understand that uh, shumi is a girl and as she is very active in her, in her work uh, she does her work properly that's why uh, everybody calls her active shumi shumi has been promoted to class 6 this year everybody calls her active shumi she adjusts herself to the teachers friends office assistants gardeners and others as well she does not hesitate to ask the teacher if she does not understand uh, anything in the class. We, uh, why should she hesitate? If she does, she will not understand. Perhaps if she fails to understand the subject, it might help the following subject difficult to understand too. Again, when the teacher asks any question in the class, Shumi has the confidence to answer without any hesitation. Sometimes she is wrong. Then her teacher or her classmates correct her. At this she is wrong. Uh, sorry, she doesn't feel shy. Rather she feels happy. She believes that in the class everyone's opinion is important. So she listens to her classmates when they say something and take part in the discussion. She thinks that it's very likely that there can be arguments in the class but one should not get angry at this. Rather, she tries to make others understand with her strong arguments. She is always active. So just look at this uh, story. There are some clues uh, that uh, she always follows and these qualities make her active. So we also have to follow these qualities. Now go to the next page. Just, uh, just look at these pictures. There are two pictures here. Uh, the girl is writing something and, they, uh, and some students uh, are just discussing anything. If I don't understand anything at a time, I keep patience and go on trying many times. Just look at the girl. She's just, uh, she's just doing her work. And the another thing that we have to follow is this. If I don't understand anything, that means if we don't understand anything at a time, we have to keep patience and go on trying many times. This is another quality okay, that we have to follow. And just students, there is a riddle for you. Uh, you can read this, uh, this riddle. And uh, if you can solve this, you can discuss this with your friends. But for giving the riddle, uh, but, the, but the reason for giving this riddle is that this thing that when we just want to solve any um, any riddle, we have to just uh, think think more and more. And this is, and we want to try uh, try a lot. We try uh, for several times to to solve this problem or, or to solve this riddle. And trying to do our work repeatedly with patience is called perseverance. This this is trying is called perseverance. Just like uh, solving this riddle, one cannot be successful in understanding something doing classwork or doing homework at the first time. Then we become angry or feel sad. But we have to keep this in mind that if we try, we can be successful at least uh, uh, to some extent. What is more important that despite our trying, if we fail, there is nothing to be shameful. Rather, it brings respect when we try and it is foolish when we don't try. Again, there are some sorts of work which when done develop efficiency. As a result, the work can be done perfectly. For example, if you make roti, first it will take you more time and the shape of the roti will not be good. But if you try again and again, the roti will be well round and thin. Besides, it takes you less time. Okay? <coughs> so, so here we have learned what is called 
perseverance that means uh, solving uh, anything uh, for more and more just another thing um, in the previous lesson we could learn about the patience and perseverance so here patience success knowledge and skill so lots of things are here so these are again related with each other that is patience success knowledge and skill uh, perfection making fewer mistakes uh, perseverance self confidence taking less time trying again and again so these are again related with each other for example trying to do something again and again with patience is called perseverance that we have learned now and we can be successful in a work if we have perseverance and thus acquire knowledge and skill success can bring self confidence again self confidence makes us more successful we can do a work perfectly when we have the skill it takes us less time to do and we make fewer mistakes now just look at the pictures these are the creative works and uh, so these are the creative works now another clue or another quality that we have to follow for getting a good result or um, be a successful person that i will do something new build something new thus i will fulfill my life with success or uh, new that means the creativity it means we must be creative we if we have the uh, mentality uh, to to make something new okay so this is another quality now another quality is i just do not memorize but understand well what i read so i can apply all those in my life when i need that means we have to memorize a thing but before that we have to understand that thing well and then we have to memorize this then we can just uh, uh, achieve this or learn this properly that means just memorize without understanding that doesn't last long so here is a story regarding this topic the uh, the story of uh, dilara and moinu that means uh, the story is that moinu is reading the same line uh, for several times that the freedom fighters were brave the freedom fighters were brave actually he just repeated this this sentence because he didn't understand anything he just memorized this he just uh, continuously just pronounced it but he didn't uh, understand anything that's why, uh, that's why he couldn't memorize this and when dilara just to hear this heard this and dilara uh, said him that uh, why are you just repeating this line then then moinu said that he couldn't understand the meaning of this line and that's why he actually uh, couldn't memorize this properly so from the story we uh, we just get uh, at the idea that we have to memorize something with understanding then that uh, that memorize actually that memorizing actually last long so so this is the story it's actually also now the next thing <coughs> sorry just think lonely and picture discussion with senior that means you have to just give uh, give yourself time uh, to think uh, to think properly with something with some problem and if you can get solution then you have to discuss uh, the problem with your seniors okay and let's think explain the picture in the previous page discuss it with the friend next to you just activities just just there are some questions okay here just look there are some questions uh, the answers you have thought are brainstorming 
if you want to learn successfully brainstorming is necessary that means you have to think that means we will always think what we have learned how we have learned and why we have learned in what ways I could have understood more all these questions we have come to know about the ways of achieving some qualities like regular attendance paying attention punctuality activeness passions creativeness application of the next uh, sorry, text lesson learned, brainstorming, etc. in order to make ourselves successful learners. That means, uh, if we just want to make ourselves a successful learners, we have to follow these qualities. We have discussed and learned these things, seeing the pictures or from some stories or events. Okay, now we will learn the ways of achieving two more qualities and they are self-confidence and self-respect and students already we have learned about these uh, two topics that self-confidence and self-respect and students already you have just uh, submitted some assignments on uh, self-confidence and self-respect so students that's all for today and uh, you have to go through these lessons properly and you must follow the qualities for becoming a, a successful learner. Okay students, uh, that's all for today. See you in the next class inshallah.